The beaches and hotels of Seuss were popular with British tourists before June 2015. They're rather quieter now. 440,000 UK tourists used to come to Tunisian attractions each year. Those numbers have dropped 90%. This was the worst terror attack involving British citizens since the London bombings of 2005. The London inquests are looking into whether travel agent TUI and the UK Foreign Office should have audited security more thoroughly after the Bardo Museum attack in March 2015. There's lots of evidence around, you know, what happened in Seuss, um, you know, for and against uh, the tour operators involved, as well as the, the governments. Um, it's a complicated situation and, you know, it would open the door, should there be a verdict against tour operators, it could open the door for, you know, future um, legislation against, you know, who's responsible really for tourists when they're overseas. The inquests are looking into the circumstances of each British death with representatives from the UK Foreign Office and the travel industry giving evidence. Travel agent TUI has told the court that it was not made aware of security concerns about Tunisian resorts in the months leading up to the attacks. These proceedings have another six weeks or so to go, but there are signs of change already in the way the UK travel industry and British officials work together. Take the recent example of the Gambia. As soon as a state of emergency was declared, the UK Foreign Office changed its travel advice for the country and tour operators started operations to fly British tourists home immediately, in the middle of their holidays. We went out on uh, Wednesday night uh, to a Chinese and uh, we, we got there and they said, oh, we're closing within the hour. So we had to have our main course and get straight out and all the Gambian people who worked at the Chinese were coming straight out because they were frightened to death, they were all hurrying home. It all got a bit too serious, all the restaurants shut down, all the shops shut down um, and it did, it got really scary. And as Tunisia itself has pointed out, it's not the only country facing a terror risk. European cities are also on alert. You know, sitting here in London, you know, this is definitely a place that's on, on high alert. Uh, same with Paris, same with Brussels, same with Berlin. Um, so, you know, for Europeans looking to travel, we're living in environments where we are sort of safety aware anyway. So while tour operators could well face criticism here, the UK travel industry hopes for inquest conclusions that don't write off the chances of resuming package holidays to Tunisia soon. Ollie Barrett, CGTN, London.